Hey, Jude, what's up? Uh, you know, same old. You? I got good days, got bad days. Same as ever. You, uh, call just to see how I'm doing, or...? Not just. Got a favor to ask you. Ask away. It's never boring with you. Interesting people aren't easily bored. No chance in your company. But now that we've <laughs> blown each other, what's up? You're on a need-to-know basis. So, this particular mission don't require you to have no gun. Just a wetsuit. I gotta say, I am intrigued. Why the wetsuit? <laughs> Can't back out now. Just gonna have to use your imagination. You really know how to reel me in, don't you? Ain't seen nothing yet. All right then, count me in. But I gotta warn you, I look great in a wetsuit. Damn out past Rancho Coronado. Know it? Uh, sure, what about it? Little, uh, abandoned bungalow lakeside. Watch it! Meet me there. At sundown. Okay. Uh, is this a date? <laughs> You're not my type, Holmes. Just show up. I'll see you there. Navy. For all that went down, I thought you and I'd be ancient history. Don't be a gunk. So what's the latest from Clouds? Know anything? Nothing of any interest. We've got a new situation, and everybody's trying to adapt. Me too. Doesn't sound like it's all okay. Doesn't mean it isn't. Any news from the Moxes? Events? Ideas? I don't know. Don't see all that much of them. How come? You know how they are. Piss me off sometimes, is all. Something got you down all of a sudden? Um, no. Judy. Can we please not talk about clouds, the Mox, or Arasaka, and Militech, and how the world's going to shit? Just... Rather not think about any of that today. Anything dark. So, ready to tell me what we're doing here? Well, been tinkering with virtues a lot lately and figured out a way to scroll two actors' experiences at the same time. Thought we could try it out. If you're down, of course. What do I gotta do? You, my friend, are just gonna scroll me a virtue. That's it? Now, now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. This could be my greatest work, ever. How does one marry two separate neural tracks? Well, at first I tried to create a single profile out of two data streams. Didn't turn out so great. 
Must have gotten tangled up. Interference, white noise. Yeah, effect was kind of like a bad art house. Couple tries in, though. I managed to isolate specific sensations. So you load them onto separate neural tracks. No emo bogeys. Not bad. Sounds like we could do this anywhere. Why do we come all the way out of here? What is this place? Cottage belonged to someone I knew. It sits empty now. I take the liberty to use it from time to time. And that's where we're gonna scroll? No, we're gonna scroll underwater. Nope, no way. Bad idea. Tell her to find some other yes man. What do you say? You in? Why would you say that? I don't know. Don't like the idea, that's all. It's just, when I think about the dark, the deep, palms that I don't fucking have get clammy with sweat I don't secrete. You're more than welcome to stay on shore. Hell yeah, I'm in. Awesome. So, uh, let's go. Got the hardware here. up, landlubber. Let's get this scroller on ya. Look pretty damn fine in that wetsuit. Don't go there, dude. Water's toxic. That not a problem? The whole reason we're suiting up. I haven't even asked me if I know how to swim. Not worried I'll just sink to the bottom like a bag of rocks? 50-50 chance, I guess. Willing to risk it for the footage. All right, let's do this. Freezing ass water, here I come. Okay, we're all set. You go first. Don't descend too fast. Where are we headed exactly? About halfway to the deepest point. It'll be pitch black, but the currents are gentle. Ought to be safe. Want the precise coordinates? Nah, why bother? I'll just stick close to you. Okie dokes. Virtues are more to you than just a way to churn out eddies, huh? Well, duh. Think it. Paintings, songs, they're meant to produce emotion responses. Generally how any kind of creativity works, sure. Right, so art's a casing, trigger for emotion. Well, BDs are emotion in near pure form. few basic checks. Need to calibrate our gear. First up, motion sensors and scrolling. Circle around me, swim. Great, motion calibrated. Back my way now, V. Next up, sound check. I'm gonna hum a song, you give me the title. Read me. just fine. Need a wider range. Levels can't be short of perfect. Hey, I know that. Edda Sorrentino. 
Only you. Dead on. All right, that ought to do it. What now? Prepare to have your mind blown. Wait for it. Now grab this and hold on tight. Down we go. Impressive, huh? That's... That's incredible. What is it? Our very own Atlantis. It used to be called Laguna Bend. Just 15 years ago, people still lived here. Yeah, I remember. NC Dam Limited made plans to build a dam. People protested, and the rest is history. Houses, playgrounds, all flooded. Got some connection to this place, right? You got it. Grew up here. Haven't been back since Laguna Bend was wiped off the map. Why are you showing me this? Want to get the right emotional reactions. Got a feeling this will be perfect for my experiment. Why does this stand to be perfect? Hoping you'll be able to pick up all the unfiltered mess of emotions this place brings out in me. Like it or not, you'll react to those feelings. That's what I want to capture. Sounds Nova. Let's do this. Played this moment coming back so many times in my head. Taking me years. Working up the nerve for this. Why didn't you come earlier? Good question. Easy answer would be that I didn't have time gear, stars weren't ever aligned. Truth is, the very idea just felt weird. Best eatery in town. Only one at that, too. Burgers weren't amazing. Too greasy. Big. Of course, I say that now. Back then, they were the best thing I'd ever chewed and swallowed. And next door, that's where we lived. Me and my grandparents. Just let me know when you want to forge ahead. Got something here. Looks like an old photo cam. DPI 350. Practically an antique. You like it? You kidding? It's awesome. That's a weird place for a framed picture. Water probably carried it out of someone's house. Anything to make out? No, not much. Like this fell off your one and only eatery. Let's see now. Your childhood tasted like scop dog from Capitan Caliente with habanero sauce extra hot. Of course, tasted even better when you stole them off the stand. You know what they say. It ain't caliente if it don't burn on the way in and out.
there a skating rink here? I wish. Played street hockey on rollerblades. Quit smoothing out, Quit smoothing out. Take this camera. Put it off in your hands and sit in here collecting algae. Gosh, thanks. What about your parents? Dad was never in the picture. Mom died when I was tiny. Can barely remember her. I still have her picture, but, you know, I see a stranger there. Judy, Judy, watch out for Who's that? Those voices. Voices? Didn't hear anything but you just now. What was it like living with your grandparents? How were they? Granddad had a real knack for things technical. Taught me everything I know. And the stories he told. Oh, never got bored listening to him. And Grandma was temperamental. Hot one second, cool as steel the next. Temperamental, huh? It explains a lot. Is that a dominant family trait? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. Where'd your grandparents go? Night City? Yeah, for a couple years. Rented the unit that's mine now. But they hated the city. Moved up to Oregon. I'd still go and visit them sometimes. Let's keep going, Judy. Aye, aye, Captain. Follow me. For anything in particular here? Nah. Can't hurt to look around though. Picking up very chill vibes. Feels like we're outside of time, like in a snow globe. After that we can see what lies up ahead. Hard to imagine anything that could be more out of place in an underwater world. Mm. Bottled water? <laughs> Touché, Judy. Touché. Gotta say, I don't really get why they left their wheels behind when they had to evacuate. Hey, how old do you think I am? These hunks of metal have got half a century on them. When I was about yay high, they were already here. And not in much better shape. Good cover for playing Max Tack and Psychos, though. This isn't yours? Poor thing. Been here all alone for 20 years. So it is yours? No. It was Jenny Chapman's. You took her doll. As if. Hit it. It was a monster. You hit it? Why? Because I thought only losers played with dolls. What I really wanted was for her to notice me. Ah, the days when dolls were just kids' toys and nothing else. Wanna see what's further on? Come on then, wanna show you something. Got no idea how weird it feels swimming through here. Where you used to run as a kid? Your daily life grinded along? Can imagine it a bit. Ha! <laughs> sure 
hasn't aged at all. It always looked old and like it had landed here from outer space. Bells were cracked too. I gave off this eerie, atonal clang. Weird, I had no memory of that second ago. Now I can almost hear him. I don't know how it's possible, but I think I hear those bells too. Seriously? You can hear my memories? It must be a side effect. Ah, closed. Shame. Could look for another way inside. Be my guest. Did you like going to this church? Never actually went to church. Never even really paid attention to it. It was just there, you know? Once we knew Laguna Bend was to be flooded, people gathered here to plan a protest. Did it achieve anything? <sighs> Look around. Found an opening. I think we're safe to go through here. On my way. Snuck in here once when no one was around. Stood at the altar and tried to imagine what went through the Padre's mind looking at all those people. Back then I wondered how he could read people's thoughts know everything about them. Then I screamed at the top of my lungs to check the acoustics. You didn't get chased off? Ran out myself. Echo, I got back scared me of the Jesus out of me. Thought it was that crush I had on Jenny Chapman. All that guilt I tried yelling out. Flew right back in my face. Ah! V, please. Oh, thank oh, fuck. fuck. You're alive. What happened? You passed out. How did you manage to lift me out? I don't know, didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful, easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life. Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You heard him? Herds overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but... 
Then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. You must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? A uh, black, please. Like the heart of a merc. Ah, forgot to start the generator. A generator? What's next? Jacuzzi? Finnish sauna? No, but there is running water. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. I think you could have fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Feet I was picking up felt a bit... flat, I want to say. Power's up. Your little spa is open for business. Judy? What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. You thinking about Evelyn? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw no next took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I'd blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... Uh, I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. Think I'll... Go lie down. I'm beat. on my nerves. That's you and me below. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Morning. Finally. You know, 
Yesterday, I think I'd made up my mind. Actually, called you because I wanted to say goodbye. The city's chewed me up. And it's spitting me out. Look, Night City's not for everyone. I grew up here. Thought nothing could surprise me. And now? I'd pack up my shit and bail too, if I could. But it's just not the right time. Give me your hand, V. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, you're asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Don't know what to say. Nobody's ever done anything like this for me. It really shows trust. Take care, V. This really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see you, Judy. Come inside, quick. I fear they had a coach. Now are you gonna tell me what the fuck you were thinking? I used a sedative. She tried to enable her tracker. I had no choice. I offered her some tea. You kidnap Hanako Arasaka and offer her a cup of fucking tea. Yes, she respectfully declined. Tell her the truth about Yorinobu. No embellishment. And state your terms clearly. Perhaps to you, she will listen. Hanako-sama, kare ga rei no jinbutsu desu. Dou ka hanashi o kiite agete kudasai. Yorinobu's the murderer. He strangled your father. I saw it with my own eyes. You must be mad to think I will listen to such nonsense. Thing is, I'm damn determined and got nothing to lose. I got your prototype relic jammed in my head. By free coincidence, it stopped. Then helped me survive. A bullet. Now, it's slowly killing me. 
One of your personality engrams is overriding itself onto my psyche. And if I don't find a way to stop it, well, it won't end well for me. Hanako-sama, he is living proof of the terrible crime your brother committed. We can confirm every word he speaks. If only you will help him with the relic. Hanako-sama. Did you hear that? Go and check. feeling about this. Find a way out. Fast. Stop. 
kill. Really? Think so? Then go! I am the yeah. Chupacabra! <laughs> Think they make these motels especially for royal fuck-ups like us? AC's busted, dirty needles under the mattress, shitters clogged. No, for real. Who fucking comes here to sleep? We're a couple miles outside Night City. Someone leaving town just keeps driving. Somebody going there sleeps in the damn city. What good's a motel in the middle of nowhere? I'll tell you who's- Yep. Just two fucking losers. And I thought we were screwed when Goro kidnapped Hanako. Mm-hmm. See? Decide to cross a corp, this is what happens. You think you just stepped in shit. Actually, you fell head first into a cesspit. Anyone knocks, blast the fucking door. No warning. And if it's Goro? Who are you kidding? Been 24 hours since we split up. Complete radio silence. Rest in peace, bastard. Saw him yourself. Even without his implants, he was a good fighter. He'll pull through. Doesn't matter how good you are in Night City. On your own, you're fucked. Hear that? Car. At this hour, in this place? Fuck. Just one? Finger on the trig, V. For me. Don't touch that door. Who's there? I said, who's there? Oh, want the whole motel to here, or will you let me in? All right, gonna let you in. Finally. Ugh. That on the wall, is that blood? Yeah. Knock the last star off this dump. So. You were saying, got a message? Sitting right here. Oh, it'll start soon. What'll start? It's a doll. Or a proxy. <clears throat> I must make one thing clear. I still think you are mad. But... Hanako, that you? But I can fool myself no longer. I believe you. How'd you find me? Did you really think it would be enough to leave the city? Takamura mentioned he had placed a tracker on you. Yet even had he not, when Arasaka wishes to find someone, it finds them. Porcelain bitch. Any word from Goro? We split up when we went on the run. Takemura is in a secure location. That is all you need to know at this time. Okay. So now that you know and believe, what's next? Yorinobu planted a tanto in the corporation's very heart. I must act while the wound is fresh. And you will help me. You are living proof of his crime and treason. Decided already. Is that it? 
You're in no position to set conditions. And what if I... obliged you to cooperate? Have to send a swarm of proxies to do that. This here, talking, is because you're alone. You don't have anyone else you can turn to. This is true. So what are your terms? You want to know everything you know about Mikoshi. Mikoshi? One of my father's flagship projects. A data fortress with servers situated on orbital stations all around Earth. Think of it as an archive of personality constructs. Digitized psyches. Try a prison. A matter of perspective. In any case, that is not where you will find salvation. Not without extensive knowledge of the relic and the construct creation procedure. Track down your runaway. Hellman was hiding under Kang Tao's wing. We chatted. Think sooner or later the engram will completely conceal me. Process can't be stopped. A surprisingly deterministic conclusion for a man of science. At the very least, I got my hands on the relic schematics. Got detailed information about its inner workings. Project tech documentation. All useful. Even more so, given that Hellman is still alive. I will contact him and explain that one does not leave Arasaka by the back door. All I know about constructs is that one of them's out to kill me. Got no idea how I wound up in the relic. Or how to remove it. There is only one possibility. Soul Killer. Or rather its newer, more powerful version. You must acquire it. Me? That's our Arasaka tech. Technology my brother does not allow even his closest associates to touch. My hands are tied in this matter. That's about the extent of what we've got. What now? I am sending you my private line. Contact me if you acquire more information about Soul Killer. And only then. From this moment onward, we both must exercise extreme caution. That's my job done. You know what? What? I think I'd have rather had a wave of Sako beats barging here. Right. Because at least we've dealt with Sokka henchmen before. But this? It's something new. Glad to see you get it. We've just landed on very thin ice. Crash landed. Idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can suffice yeah. from what I see what the on the TV. Fuck. Your brother is passing with time. green at the cameras and he insists that everything is under control. Mr. Crampy does not like me. Huh, you sure? Can't be that bad if you make it light. Fuck! That was your tickle. Sit and rest. Don't need your flat running while we got a job to do. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck Arasaka. Blah, blah. Smash and Koshi. You really are turning into me. Uh, might be right. We're bickering like a couple of geezers on a park bench. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. You can be a charming guy. You just make the effort, charisma flows. Then I remember that nuke you detonated downtown without a second thought and no hint of later remorse. It was Mikoshi I was after. Wanted to destroy it. Gave Sokka ample time to clear the building. You knew countless people would die. 
Don't kid yourself. Take lives aplenty yourself. See scale as a problem? Whatever. Won't argue. All I'm saying is you're unpredictable. You pod me, Kettle. Remember where you used to be, then think what you've done lately. Path clear. See where you're going? Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. What was it like... when you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? <laughs> Had half a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt... I don't know... Like sleep? Lacked awareness. Had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember... Cold, a black void, fear. Or... Or was that your death? Koshi. Why'd Arasaka even build it? If I could only see inside Saburo's head. Uh -huh. People can be bought, brainwashed. But it's only in Makoshi that you can peer inside a soul, pick it apart, reprogram it. They've amassed quite a collection. Scary, talented runners. Soul killed, packed away. Probably using them now. Probably controlling them. So, ruling hearts and minds. That's what it's about. The usual. Corps have always tried to shackle people one way or another. Saburo's ambition is greater. He's out to control humanity. Well, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Makoshi is worst. Know why? They can change who you are. Turn you into someone else without you even knowing it. Yep, goddamn right. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what our sock is doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do. Now we can talk. Go ahead. You know about his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Spoke with her. Not in person, but we spoke. You know who I'm talking about. Mm hmm She contacted me too. We went, as you say, all in. And it worked. Hard to believe, but it's true. As I said, she made you an offer. Seem to know everything already. I gotta keep talking? I only know what Hanako-sama saw fit to tell me. That is not much. So please, continue. Not too helpful so far. Gotta find Soul Killer first, cause Hanako, and I quote, her hands are tied. So it is time to begin the search. Yeah, like Soul Killer's just something I could go pick up in Kabuki. I cannot help you, but I believe it is worth a try. Your life depends on it. Don't remind me. Anything else? 
How's Oda doing? Still on the mend? Arasaka provided him with the best medical care, but I cannot guarantee it will be enough. Wounded pride heals slower than bones. Your hideout's been blown, probably literally. Where are you now? I am done with squats, B. That is the most I can say. You will have to be content. Talk to you later. Be safe, B. Think you wouldn't show. Shouldn't have, to be honest. Why not? Normally only work with fixers. Clients that avoid him tend to be bad news. I just care about my privacy. Huh. Fuck me. It's you. It's me, Lizzy Wizzy. Sit, please. Let's talk. V? Sit. Okay, so what's this about? I think you can guess. I'm in trouble. Mm-hmm. And what kind? <laughs> Good question. Been a rough year. Creative block. Can't even say the last time I made anything worth listening to. And to make things worse, I fell in love. I'm so sorry. Mm. And why is that? Sooner or later, love will only let you down. Guess it'll be sooner. So, we talking a man, a woman? Oh shit, these hands. Sometimes it seems like I just brush something and sparks fly. <sighs> anyway, a man. His name's Liam. Liam Northam. Been together a few months, but I think he's cheating on me. Okay. Why the suspicion? <sighs> it's so cliched, it's embarrassing. Whispered phone calls in the bathroom, strange receipts, secret meetings in the middle of the night. Any specific event come to mind? <laughs> My mind... That's... That's a touchy subject. Why? Don't know each other well enough for that, V. Talk to him at all? Tell him to his face? <laughs> You're adorable. Imagine this. We're never alone. Not really. Always surrounded by assistants, PR reps, makeup artists. I stop smiling at him for one millisecond, it'll be all over every scream sheet in this town. Understood. No, you don't understand. Not until you've lived it. Millions of eyes trained on you constantly. It can be beautiful and terrifying. Liam Northam. Nah, don't know him. Tell me about him. Forty-ish, sensitive, guy who never wanted for anything. You know the type. Heard they exist. How'd you meet? <sighs> He's my manager. 
I know. I know how it sounds. I never meant to. He's not even my type, but... But? Your body can be chrome, but the heart never changes. It wants what it wants. So what's my role here? What do you want? Proof. And then I'll end things. For good. Liam goes to Riot all the time. I think he meets someone there. I want to know who. You'll find out for me? You can count on me. Perfect. Remember, I want specifics. Details. Recordings or pics if you can. Sure. Keep it in mind. Good. Now go. Hmm. You look okay. Go mm. in. No messing around. I'm looking for a guy. Name's Liam. Liam Northam. You know where I could find him? No, you can fuck off, Merc. I ain't talking. Oh, so you know, Liam. You do time together? Share a bunk? Smoke blunts in the back stairs? No. Of course not. He's a rich, gannic fuck. Typical suit. Doesn't even see peeps like you or me. Or if he does, it's just a spit on us. So why are you taking his side? Why make this harder for me? Because it's my job. What they fucking pay me to do. Pay you to keep the peace. And I'm an easy, peace-loving chum. In and out. Nobody will even see me. And, well, it's important. Check the VIP room. Usually sits in there. I got a meeting. For Liam. Liam Northam. You know him? Could say I know off him. What about him? Is he around? Saw him drive up to the door, but that was like half an hour ago. No idea now. It's a beautiful day, huh? One of those days. Hey, Linda, champagne to the VIP room, stat. Okay, just let me give three their check. Huh? Nice tunes. Good work music. Yeah? Wouldn't know. I've filtered out music and other ambience since I started here. Be deaf already if I hadn't. Busy night, huh? Real busy, yeah. You looking to spill your sorrows? This ain't the time. Looking for Liam. Liam North. Ah, <sighs> that one. Fuck. Can't stand that gunk. Bad tipper? Uh-huh. 
plus he's a jackass. Output's even worse. Output, huh? Interesting. Anyway, where's he at? You know I can't tell you that. It's important. Sure it is. You don't look like someone gets caught up in bullshit, but I, I can't. Seriously, sorry. Can't, huh? But know what I can do? Crush your skull like a can of Nicola. Think if you really want to say no. Use that skull sponge while you still got it. In the VIP room with some new output. Order champagne, so it's a party. But, um, you didn't hear it from me, yeah? Sure. Right. Let's see what's here. Champagne? Nice surprise. Uh... Considered a token of my gratitude. I know you don't often agree to use the relic, but well, you don't usually make an engram of a living person either. Oh, come on. Arasaka's has taken a keen interest in Lizzie's career. Be a shame if it ended prematurely. A backup copy seems to be the most sensible solution. How about that? Once you made the backup, can you tweak it to remove undesirable traits? Because Lizzie, ever since her conversion, she... she hasn't been herself. I'm afraid that's impossible. Engrams saved in the Secure Your Soul program cannot be edited. But how significant would these edits be? Significant? Sometimes... sometimes I don't even recognize her. Other times... Uh, well, ne never mind. Let's have a drink. To our partnership. Oh, fuck. You heard what I just heard, right? Relic. They want to do her like they did me. Not exactly. They wiped you. Here, they just want to make a backup. A backup? V, we're talking about a person. Not your vacay snaps. Guy didn't even ask. He's just going behind her back. He's got no right to do it. Nobody has that right. Especially without her knowing. Shit. How do I even tell her? Don't have to. Camera in there. Where there's a cam, there's footage. Hello? V? What's up? Got some intel on Liam. And? Is it what I thought? No. Worse, Lizzie. Much, much worse. What do you mean? Listen, don't know the deets, but Liam, he... 
He wants your engram. He wants to copy you. What? But why? He said... He said he's afraid. For you. And... Of you. No. No, I don't believe it. You hear me? Not a single word. You're lying. Got the data to prove it. Here. Listen for yourself. No. No. It's... No.